39-year-old Michael Barone was born with a urinary tract defect called hypospadias. His urethral opening is on the side of his penis rather than at the tip. It is fairly uncommon, difficult to treat, and has had a major impact on Barone's life. I play hockey a few times a week. I work out three or four times a week in the gym, so it's a matter of taking off your clothes. So there's always been this inherent shyness with me. You'll have to change your lifestyle a little bit. You know, you can't go into a urinal and stand up and pee. You'll have to go sit down. After more than 20 unsuccessful surgical procedures, Barone was referred to the chief of urology at the Detroit Medical Center's receiving hospital, Dr. Richard yes. Santucci. Dr. Santucci is a nationally recognized expert in urethra reconstructive surgery. People have a blockage of their urethra. The urethra is the peeing tube that gets your urine out from your bladder. We incise it and actually exteriorize it, meaning this urethra tube that used to be inside your body is now actually open out to the air. A piece of skin was taken from the inside of Michael Barone's mouth and then grafted onto his penis. We actually put it on either side of the open urethra and we let all of that heal up. Several weeks later, phase two is done. Once it's healed up, then we can roll it back into a normal urethra tube and get the patient back to being more normal again. Michael's previous surgeries had left him with a lot of scar tissue and great difficulty urinating, often requiring him to insert a catheter. Once a week I had to insert that into you know, four or five inches into my penis. So that, that wasn't the funnest thing. But a couple of weeks after Dr. Santucci's urethroplasty, Michael Barone was well on his way to a full recovery. Judging by the results of this surgery, I'm, I'm fairly confident that I'll never have to go back in and have another surgery. So yes, I would absolutely recommend the surgery to anybody. Dr. Santucci's success with this procedure underscores the beneficial relationship between the Wayne State University School of Medicine and the nine DMC hospitals. I think that this opportunity to put together the clinical excellence of the hospitals with the intellectual excellence it really does allow us an opportunity to really make advantage for our patients. We have to do pretty much a different operation on every patient. We almost never do the same operation twice and uh, uh, that's gratifying actually to be able to uh, be creative in, in your work. Visit us anytime at dmc.org to learn more or to make an appointment with Dr. Richard Santucci and the urology team at Detroit Receiving Hospital. The DMC, we just think it's a better way to get better. I'm Emory King.